Google's made keyboards for Android for a long time. Yes. Um, and what's funny is this keyboard that they just made for iOS is so much better than the Android keyboard. It's crazy how much better it is. I mean, it's better than the iOS keyboard and it's better than the Android keyboard. And so help me because I haven't so used it. So help me, help me. Uh, let me launch a, an editing program and show me how to use Gboard. Okay. okay? Uh, so yeah. First thing we're going to do is install it. First, you got to install it. You've should already we show, installed should it. Should I right? walk? Well, let me walk through that process just in case sure. people don't know. Uh, by now, you probably figure this out. You go into settings, and in settings, there's an entry for. Oh, I'm in it already. But there's well, first an entry. You have to install it before you go there, right? You download it. Download it. They could figure that out. <laughs> you download it. In this case, you're looking for Gboard by Google mm -hmm. is what you're going to download. Then you go into keyboard in the general settings uh, of the settings application, and the very topmost thing will show you available keyboards. Now, if you've downloaded it, it will show up in here, but it won't necessarily be. Uh, enabled. You have to add new keyboards, look for the keyboard that you added. In this case, you're also going to see a variety of, of other languages. Don't recommend that. I do recommend, though, one of the languages will be Emoji. And if you haven't added the Emoji keyboard, this comes from Apple, you should absolutely have at least English and Emoji. But you'll see there are other keyboards you can add. And there is one more step you want to take. Allow full access. By default, the keyboard doesn't have full access. That means, I don't know, it means it can't see what you're doing on the screen and that's for privacy reasons. Watch what happens though if you whoosh back, as soon as I say allow full access it gives you this warning. And this is I think one reason a lot of people don't use third-party keyboards. Mm -hmm. Full access allows the developer of this keyboard to transmit anything you type including things you previously typed with this keyboard. This could include sensitive information as your credit, such as your credit card number or street address. So by allowing this and Google does the same thing on Android. By allowing this, you just need to understand you're trusting this keyboard. I think this is a little bit over the top because mm -hmm. you're trusting everything you use not to send that information back, right? right? And you have no way of verifying it. We, require, we, we expect Apple to verify it when they approve the keyboard. Into the App Store. Into the App Store. Mm -hmm. So this is a, one of those warnings where what are you going to say? Oh, well, never mind then. I, in the beginning, I did. You know, it's very scary. It's one of those things that if you're, care you know, you think, oh, allow full access. That sounds uh -huh. very frightening. But yeah, do it. You're and always going to allow it because otherwise you can't use the keyboard. Right. And so you want to use Gboard, so allow let's, it. Let's see, Gboard. Sure. Now, you're going to show me how to use Gboard. So I've, I've enabled it. I've allowed full access. Let me go into my editing program and uh, I'll just. Uh, so well, it would work it. in an editing program, it works in messages, it works in email. Oh, it, it looks very different search. right away. Wait a minute, this isn't it, is it? No, that's the Jiffy keyboard. Okay, so I, if I have some other switch keyboards. So if you want to switch before, switch between, you just touch those globes. That globe will give you different keyboards. Now, the best thing to do is hold it. To see all of them. Can you see all of them? Oh, I man, know. I am in an unhappy position here. So you've installed it, right? Yeah. There it is. There, is. there it is. You know by the G, the little oh, G icon. Okay, so there. tap the globe until you get to the G. Yeah. So the, G, the this is my favorite part of the keyboard. There's a lot of great features. This is my favorite. You can search straight from that G, so you just hold it. Tap the G? Tap it. Tap it. And then you can search. Oh, and because it said change outboard light, change outdoor light bulbs, it's the first thing it says is, well, you, you want to search in the text that's already there. Yes. That's really nice. Uh, but then there's some other things I might want to search for, weather and restaurants, or... Uh, let's, I don't know, let's search for um, Homburg hats because God knows that the world that. doesn't have enough Homburg hats. And then it shows the cards. Like if you use Android, you're very familiar with these cards right. or, you know, Google Now. Um, right. So you can search those. Can I see images? If I tap the image button, can I get, oh. Yes. Live. Yeah. I want to insert this copied. Now, what do I do? It says type, and tap then, above to paste. And then paste it. And then, oh, see, I can't paste what images. What program is that? This is an using? editorial, it's a text. So, yeah, it works in docs. The, the okay, most let me, useful let me, feature... Let me launch, uh, probably Notepad would be the one to launch, yeah. right? Apple's Notepad. I think the most search, the most useful search feature that I've already used several times this weekend is in messages. When someone says, like, where are we going to dinner? And you say, we're going to uh, oh, let me know, try New York that. or pizza. We're going to Sardi's. Okay, and then I hit return. Now I'm in here. If I tap this search, is it going to pick that up? 
No, you have to search in there. So you just would type. Look at that. And then. Sardis. And the then, Church of the Living Dead. That's exactly where we're having dinner. <laughs> and then I could just paste that. Right. Right into the card. If it were card. a location, then that would be more useful. <laughs> the Sardis I remember. <laughs> so. <laughs> I've used that in messages several times already. Maybe here, I meet us have here. picked a restaurant from this century. You, Would you, have been you could probably have, a good yeah. idea. So, and then you but just that's tap, cool. And then it gives the location so the person can click on it and it opens maps. Um, you can also search GIFs, too, which is incredibly useful in communication. So let's let's go back to uh, cats. You know, maybe I, maybe I, for some reason, had typed cats in my notes here. We'll tap that. It will know, of course. You see, it has cats there. Mm -hmm. And I can search for text. I could search for images, but I can also, <laughs> oh, baby, cat gifts. cat gifts copied, and then we'll just paste that in, and suddenly this note is very interesting. It's, the, not, it's not wobbling, though. The other really useful feature is uh, I use this when I'm tweeting. It has an emoji search, so if you've ever been tweeting and you know you're limited to 140 <sighs> characters, and as you know, I like to talk a lot and write a lot this more than that. So awesome. So I was tweeting something about fire, and it just automatically suggested the fire emoji. I saved three characters, which I love. The new Giggle keyboard is amazing. Um, and then I should search, what should well, I? Well, you could say, and on fire. And right. on and I'm fire. On. And then I just type the search button. And it's still got Hamburg hats. Oh, it that's interesting. It, didn't it pick just up. suggested it for me. What? You uh, are in there. Well, well, that's not a problem to type fire. but so. And by the way, this would be great. I can now paste the location of the Petaluma Fire Department. Right. Right, <laughs> don't, don't, right in don't there. Don't do that. Don't uh, write let's, people. By the way, notice that if you want to have locations that you are. So you and it did somehow know that I was near Petaluma, but let's turn on locations. And that's another thing you have to allow. And now the local results will be better. But it did a pretty good job. I and love it. Um, here we'll just we'll paste in a picture of Donald Trump because there's nothing better than a picture of Donald Trump. So, so you can uh, this is awesome. And then here's some fire mm -hmm. and here's some gifs or gifs. Look at that. Yeah.